Hey guys, it's Dr. Wiggy. I just wanted to check in with you today and talk about the connection between melasma and hormones. Because I've been seeing a lot of women coming in with these dark spots on their faces and they're asking me kind of what sort of things can I put on my face to help reduce these dark spots and help even out my skin. And unfortunately the problem is that it's not really a uh, necessarily a skin problem and that putting creams on it's not really going to make that much of a difference. You really have to do is address the underlying problem in this case. And, in, and with melasma, oftentimes there seems to be an association with hormone imbalances. Now, there, there's been some different studies and it does seem that there is a connection with the melanocytes and they seem to somehow get triggered with these hormones and when that happens, that there is a darkening of the skin. Now, the melanocytes seem to be sensitive to a couple different hormones. And it's not necessarily a one size or one picture fits all in this, in this situation. Now with melasma, like I said, it does really seem to be sensitive to two different hormones, to estrogen and to progesterone. That is why in, um, it, it is called the mask of pregnancy because a lot of times women with, that are pregnant do get these, these spots. And that happens because pregnancy is a progesterone dominant state and there's a lot more progesterone than there is estrogen and this also seems to be the case when women that are taking progesterone only hormone replacement therapy so in one hand that does seem to be too much progesterone that seems to be causing these dark spots but on the other hand there is this this other situation where it seems to be more of an estrogen dominance and this can be seen uh, with women that are on some uh, birth control pills or on uh, other hormone replacement therapy and their estrogen is higher than their progesterone. I'm not exactly sure how both of these situations works where there's progesterone dominance and then when there's estrogen dominance but it just seems like when there's an imbalance in the estrogen and progesterone that's when dark spots can develop. So it's important for you to work with your doctor to really work on balancing your estrogen and your progesterone that will decrease the stimulation of the melanocytes and this decreased stimulation will give the skin time to even out. And this may take months, so be patient. But that is really the best way to address melasma instead of putting skin stuff and just kind of trying to cover it up. So like I said, the best way to do is really try and optimize hormones and give your body some time to heal. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any comments, just uh, send them below. Otherwise, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we'll have a lot more great content coming out. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care.